Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Good to see you. So today I want to have a go at making a type of a belly band for my Edith Holden slash botanical projects. Um, so I'll show you the idea. Um, I'm sure this has been done before, but this is just going to be how I'm choosing to do it. So this is my very rough paper prototype. Ignore the measurements because I've changed my mind since uh, picking my papers. So basically we're going to have a belly band. So we'll glue top and bottom on our page so that we can slip something behind it. Or it could be a side tuck. And we're going to have this little flip out writing space. And then it flips out. Oops flips out both ways so you'll have journaling on the front and back. So very very simple um, and this is how we're going to do it. So I've got some things prepared. Um, so what we've got here is some uh, text pages from the book. There, I made sure that I picked ones where it was just text front and back and I wanted lots of text on the page so you'll see uh, basically to give us a really nice background. Now, these are different sizes because each of the Edith Holden pages had, you know, some were complete uh, pages of text, some had bigger margins. So I just basically cut down to the size of the text. Um, so just for reference, my largest one is just shy of eight inches high. And we're doing them by about three and a quarter inches across. Um, and then my smallest one is the same width but we are more like seven inches. So just for reference, this is an A4 piece of paper. This is how the larger one would be because it would, you know, it would take up pretty much an entire sheet. And this is how the smaller one would look. It would be more like a, a, a sort of a center focal point, I guess. You can always cut them down after you've made them though. Um, so, you know, don't faff about with measurements too much, just you know, go with the papers that you want to use and just cut them to what you think is right. Um, we're going to have this be on the front. So if we take this one as an example, this is the bit that I want to be the, the sort of the decorative part, I suppose. And then this is going to be what we're going to pull and have uh, our Z fold paper. So um, and then we're going to tie it with a nice bit of ribbon. So I know I just basically explained the whole entire thing. Hopefully you'll still want to watch. <laughs> Hopefully you like the idea. So, OK, what I will show you, first of all, is how I got this nice little Z fold and how I got it to the size that I wanted it to be. So in my case, one A4 bit of paper did two lots of journal spaces. So um, what I, all I did was I took my card and, of course, you can use any focal point that you want. Um, in my case, this is from the Craft Consortium pads. Um, I sort of saw them as journal cards initially, but then I had this idea because they're quite nice botanical. Oops, dropping things again. Quite nice botanical, you know, with the words and the nice image and things. So I thought this would be a really nice use for them. So all I did was lined up my piece of paper now I've got the card overlapping the paper ever so slightly by sort of like an, a sixteenth of an inch, like a really small portion, um, because we want the paper to be smaller than the card. So I'm just going to make a little mark there, and this is going to be where I'm going to cut slightly inside of. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to bring in my big trimmer, so just excuse me whilst I try and fit this in. Okay, and then we're just going to cut our piece of paper, uh, you know, this way. Hopefully you can see. So I've got the, I've got the portrait side facing me, um, and then we're just going to cut inside of that mark ever so slightly. Make sure we're straight. So we end up with something about this size. Now for this one, I've got a tear here, so I'm just going to take that off. Um, it will make the journal space a little bit smaller, but not by much. I don't think it really matters. So then we have a strip like this. So we're just going to do the same thing. Again, I want to be making my marking. I know I'm slightly out of screen. It's just because the, tr the, the trimmer is so big. This is why I, I don't do trimming as much on camera. But I thought it was best to show you the whole thing. 
Um, so I'm just going to take off the top where I've got the previous pen marking because would you believe I do not own a pencil. And then where my other marking is, again, I'm just coming slightly inside of it. Again, I know I'm probably off screen and I'm very sorry for that. Good. We're just going to come in. Hopefully that's straight. Okay, let's get rid of the trimmer. So again, we've got two strips, which should be, you know, relatively the same size. There we go. Obviously, I had to chop off one, one more than the other. Okay, and then with this, we're going to, again, using our card as a guide, again, we want the paper to be slightly smaller because the idea is that the journal space is kind of hidden. So we're just going to fold this over like so. Just checking the size, yeah. So we're gonna fold one way, turn it over, and then we're gonna fold the other way using our you know, previous, uh, previous fold as a guide. Turn it over again. So it's like an accordion fold or a Z fold, um, however you describe it. And again, so I think we'll probably get about four folds, and then I'll just chop off I'll chop off the excess. Now I don't think I've particularly folded this one overly straight but it really really doesn't matter that much to be honest just as long as we're going to be still hidden by the by the um the card. Okay now in my case I'm just going to fold this part back like so. So what we're going to have hopefully if we're the same yep yeah. So as you can see, we've got a slight border of the card around the paper. And this part is going to get stuck down onto our belly band, like so. This part is going to stick onto this top piece. And then eventually what you get is this like fold out piece, which to be fair, this one's probably quite long. Um, so it will add extra bulk, um, but I don't mind because really, if you see that as being the profile, add a slim bit of ribbon. Yes, there is some bulk there, but you get quite a nice bit of journaling space. So I don't mind that so much. So that is the accordion. So I'll do it again, just so that we are both on the same page. Okay. So again, we're gonna fold over using our card as a guide. Obviously I've done these a few times now, so I kind of know by eye how big I want them to be. And um, I am going to round my corners uh, just because I sort of prefer the, the look of it that way. But you don't have to um, if you don't want to. Okay. And I will also do some inking. So again, let's just check we've got this the right sort of size. Yeah, again, we've got that slight border. Very slight on this one. But once I round the corners, we will be all good. So that's the, the fold in. So as you can see with these ones, I've rounded every single corner um, and I kind of just did it all in one go. So if I show you what I mean, I just slip this in if it's not too thick. Sometimes it will be too thick. So in that case, I'll do the bottom layers, which I can do all in one go. If you've got a bigger punch than me, then you might be able to do it all together. Okay, like so. And then we're just going to do the top papers so that they're all nicely rounded. I appreciate this is probably not very exciting to watch, but you know, for those of you who might not have made one of these before, um, I, I personally like the idea of being able to show you every step um, but you know you can always fast forward me or or whatnot and then we just need to do the back. Okay so we've got all of the corners rounded now so I'm just going to quickly uh, pause do the other one and do all the inking and then we'll be ready to put them all together. Okay so we're all set so I just wanted to show you as well um, what I was doing just whilst I had you on uh, pause 
because I was just going along and bone folder in each of the folds to make them nice and crisp and then also to make sure that you know these are as flat as they can be really okay so we're going to take our first piece and our first belly band piece um, I have also inked around these as well and it's really simple you probably guessed it we are just going to simply glue our first bit of paper onto this belly band um, now I'm going to use I think I'll use the Kalal. Um, I'm just going to put a thin layer on though because what I noticed with the Kalal is when you've got thin paper, so if I didn't already mention this is only copy paper, um, you can get some seepage through. So I'm going to be very very careful with it. Very very thin layer. Okay, and we're going to glue that onto our card. Now you could use absolutely anything for this. Um, I'm hoping, you know, ideas are popping into your heads. You know, if you've got uh, tags from um, journal kits, if you've got, you know, pieces of ephemera, you could absolutely do this with those. Okay, like so. I'll go into the edges with my smaller nozzle later. And then we're going to glue this back piece. Again, a very thin layer. onto our back panel okay um, I'm just sort of measuring it up really what I will do is um, I think you found it useful for my specimen cards I will put the measurements for these um, in the description box I know I told you at the beginning but you know just in case you've forgotten um, or you know saves you having to rewind and everything I will do that okay but then again I want to go in with a, a thinner nozzle and it's as simple as that we have this little fold out writing spot and of course you can fold it out both ways depending on whether you're left or right handed like so um, and then what I also would like to do is add a tab um, just to make this part easy to, to pull out um, now, to be honest, I don't think it necessarily needs it because, you know, it does it does sort of stick up. But I suppose over time, it might just make it easy to have a little tab on. So I just punched out some little tabs from my little scraps. Um, now, I would put a tab like so, but equally, you might want to put a tab on the other side. Although, I suppose, do I have it on there? No, either way I'd have it on this side anyway. So I can just get go ahead and glue that on. So let's just do that, shall we? I've already inked around these. Um, and then I will show you the ribbon. And then for those of you who want to crack on and, and make some, if you are feeling inspired, then you can go off and do so. Um, and then I will just do the others on screen for those who want to stick around. So we'll have something like that I suppose yeah I want to put it at the top because we're gonna have the ribbon tied around the middle I was gonna say it might be nice to have it in the middle but then I remembered about the ribbon okay I think actually I want to put that no I don't no I don't <laughs> stick with your plan just and just pop that in there okay I think that's straight roughly okay like so um, and then we're going to put some ribbon on. Um, so I've got some, I think this is like a, a very light mint kind of a colour. So if we were to come in behind the belly band. Now this is a very thin ribbon. You wouldn't want to use anything terribly bulky for this. Um, like some twine would be fine, some string, that kind of a thing. Just nothing like, you know, not a great big bit of lace or something. Um, where do we want the bow? I suppose it doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, so let's pretend that's neat. <laughs> like so. And then what we will do, I'm just going to add a bit of glue to the back uh, part of the ribbon. Now I have to keep an eye on my phone because um, 
my phone has been cutting out lately whilst I've been filming, which is very annoying. Uh, this is just some uh, beacon or fabric glue, um, you know, Fabri-Tac type thing. So that just keeps that in place. And then what we will also do is just add some tape, if I could find mine. Um, we'll just add some tape to the back. Um, because when you're sliding something in and out, uh, you really don't want to be catching that ribbon. This is just paper tape. I think it's called framers tape. Um, but you know, masking tape, even some washi, if you add some glue would be would be fine. Whatever you've got. Okay, and then we're just going to squeeze that down and make sure we're not sticking out because I have a tendency not to cut straight lines, as you know, like so. something like that and then I'm just gonna squeeze that down a bit like so and that is essentially once we do a need to bow that is our belly band um, so as I say we'll glue top and bottom down onto the page and then you pull out this little bow like so and then you've got <laughs> isn't that fun so yeah, I definitely need to go in with some butter glue in, but that's essentially the idea of the belly band. Uh, as I say, this has probably been done um, before, but this is just how I was approaching it. So I hope that was helpful. Um, so for those of you who would like to stick around and see the others take shape, I'm going to go off and do those now. Um, or if you just want a reminder of what I did, then this is what we're doing. So we're going to take another of these another card and we're just going to glue that on I was just checking that I'd done the uh, <laughs> done the inking I couldn't remember there we go and again I'm do doing a thin layer because I don't want it to don't want it to seeping through there we are this one's got more of a border but that's okay actually quite like the the nice border around it you can see all the little flowers coming through and everything it's very pretty okay so that was yeah that was the full width of an a4 piece of paper mostly apart from that little bit i had to to cut off for one of them if you remember and we can always add extra decoration to the belly band piece you know down here or whatnot um, I'm holding off for now until I get them into my journal um, because then you know I can see I can see sort of exactly how it's going to look kind of a thing okay, just checking my <laughs> my gluing skills where is it on this side there now you might want to do some where you've got them go in a different way um I think that would be depending on how you do the folds, I imagine. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'm just probably having them all go a similar sort of way. Um, because I would only use one of these in a journal, unless it was a two signature journal, and then I would have one in each maybe. Um, but yeah, I'd probably only use one myself. Um, the rest will go in different journals or, or what have you. And of course you don't have to do Edith Holden for this at all um, you know essentially we've just got some nice paper in the background um, and you've got your sort of focal card or tag or whatever it is that you're using and yeah we're just adding in some tea, tea dyed paper or coffee dyed paper or whatever paper you want to use and um, you know that's all it is it's a very simple, very simple one, but I really like it. You might also want to put something here. You could even um, have something here which is hidden that you sort of open up to find. That might be cool if you had like a little picture there or something. So I might consider that for mine again when I when I know where these are going. 
Um, as I say, this has probably been done before, um, I imagine. But I still wanted to show the idea anyway, because we all do we all do things differently, and uh, it might just give you some ideas. It's a nice use for these cards, actually. As I say, I did think journal cards when I saw them, and I will still do that. But I have, I think there's something like 16 or even 20 on each page, and I have four pages of them. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got plenty as journal cards. And then yeah, I thought this would be a nice extra extra use for them, really. There we go. So I hope you're all well. I'm sorry if I, I dove sort of straight into the tutorial again, didn't I? <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you don't mind me doing these sorts of shorter, you know, one project type videos. Um, to be honest, I've seen a lot more uh, a lot more interest in the videos when I'm showing you something specific as opposed to just a general, here's what I'm making. I will still do videos like that. Um, but yeah, that's just what I've noticed really. Okay, so again, do we want the... So on this one, I'm going to put the journal card on the other side, I think. So on this side, because that, that opens out furthest. So I'll put that one on there. And then at least we're getting some on other, other bits as well. The only issue is that on this card, I don't want to eat into my, my picture. So maybe there. It's actually sunny today, again. <laughs> I know, I'm talking about the weather. Uh, but yeah, it's just when, when the sun shines, we have to we have to comment on it. We have to make most of it, don't we? There we go. So that will go on there. As I say, I'll do the more intricate glue in afterwards you don't need to see me <laughs> see me doing that and to be fair you probably get my my head all in your <laughs> all in your face because I'd have to concentrate okay now for this one yes I'm gonna go with the same same one as before okay so again we're just going to tie this here you don't have to add the tab as I mentioned I think I think these will be just fine without tabs. It's just, yeah, if you if you wanted. I think I've made that a little bit short. There we go. This is why I'm not cutting the ribbon until after I've tied the bow because um, I always get ribbon lengths wrong. So if we tie our bow first, then obviously we can uh, cut it down. And I can always do better cutting and stuff later. So again, I will just add a bit of glue. So yeah, a very simple idea, but I think these will look really nice. Fit in just well with any kind of botanical journal, Edith Holden journal, you know, all sorts really. I don't think my glues like me very much today. <laughs> There we go, and then again we're just going to add a bit of tape. As I say, it just keeps that ribbon out of out of the way whilst we slide things in and out underneath and all the rest of it. Oops. One idea I did have is, and this might be something to think about for future or, or what have you, is I did wonder whether it would be possible to have this belly band piece open up and have this as be writing space. Now for my Edith Holden ones I thought that would be overkill so I haven't done that on these but it might be something to think about uh, for future. There we go, cute. Um, so next one, uh, where does this one fold out? Now that one folds out that way as well. Um, so I could put the tab here, maybe. Oops. Mm. Yeah. 
so yeah when you're making these you might want to think about which way around you're you're doing your folds and tabs and what have you um, I'm hoping I'll end up with two on one side and two on the other that would be that would be useful um, but yeah you might want to think about which way around you're gluing your papers that's that benefit of hindsight again but that's okay that's why we do these videos is you know you can you can learn from our mistakes and you know as well as the things that we we get right okay and I've got a slight pinky toned ribbon here which I think will be just fine these nice thin ribbons are just perfect for this type of a thing really of course oh goodness me tying all these bows on camera is a disaster waiting to happen as is my glue okay that's that one uh, I just had a glue emergency <laughs> as per usual I'm always having glue emergencies aren't I um, so that's that one as I say I'll, I'll do the bows and stuff properly properly after just to give you an idea of, of how to do them um, and then we have this one which again which way do we open uh, we open that way yep so we can Oh, I'm going to have the tab on that side again, aren't I? I don't get tabs. I don't. I don't get these folds. Um. Yeah, I'm going to have to have the tab on that side again. So apparently, <laughs> there is a right way to do these and a wrong way. Because uh, I wanted, yeah, two on each tabs really on that side, um, or two of each. But it doesn't matter, does it? It does not matter. Okay. If you know about these folds and which way round the tab is supposed to go, uh, if there's a right way to do this, then please do let me know. <laughs> I'm always willing to learn. Okay. Do we think we're going to get this pink ribbon to go around here? Is it going to be enough? I don't want it to be difficult to tie it when it's actually in the journal. I think that's going to be too short. So let me sneak in here and grab another piece. That will do. Oops. So yeah, I think that's why the, the ribbon is essential for these is, you know, they will sort of, it will kind of come out without it really. But there we go. And then I just need to add some glue and some tape to the back of this one, which I'll do, I'll do after, because I have a feeling this video is probably run on. But you get the idea. That's those. So there we go. I hope you liked the idea of these. I think they look absolutely smashing. <laughs> and a really quick one to do. You could just, you know, knock up a few of these really quickly. I um, don't know how long that's taken me, but I was talking, so <laughs> you'll be, probably be quicker. Um, and yeah, in terms of, you know, if I find that these ones are too tall for my journal, for example, because they are, you know, tallest ones, then as you can see, I can just chop off some top and bottom, round the corners, re-ink and everything, and you'd never know, because obviously these are sort of much smaller, I suppose. So I hope you like them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry if it was a bit of a boring video, but um, I hope that it's given you some inspiration as to something you could give a go. Um, as always, thanks ever so much for joining me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye for now.